Welcome back to another LMS tutorial. In this video, we're going to be using automation tracks. I'll show you what they are and how to use them. Um, so first I have this little composition right here. We can play it and see what it sounds like. Just got a simple bass line, two little melody parts. And, um, you know, when we bring up our mixer here, oh, where was it? Uh, if we play, we can actually control the volume by left clicking and just lowering down the volume. But let's say we want to fade in the volume from like all the way out and slowly fade in like this. So we can manually do that. We can also um, automatically do that by using an automation track. So the automation track is this uh, icon right here. We click it and it brings an automation track. Um, in the past, we've always just closed this track right out. But now we're going to finally look at using it and what it does. So we can click over here just like we could when we were doing our editing with a piano roll. And actually, it looks pretty similar. This is a piano roll. We remember we have one, two, three, four. We have our different bars this way. Well, the uh, automation track is going to look similar. If we double click, we see we have also different bars. We can scroll over. There's just no piano roll here. But uh, the time, the timeline graph looks the same. So we can, if we just click in here, we see it creates sort of a little square thing. We can click again, and it creates some different points. What's this, what this is going to do is control from 0 all the way to 100%. So down here is going to be 0, and we can make this be 100% like this, and then we can have it be back down to 0. And what that's going to do is actually change our volume. I'm going to kind of step it up here towards the end. So if we do it just like this, and the close, oh, you know what? I did that all in, in a, there we go. We can stretch it out to make it bigger. So I just stretched it out. So we're seeing it the whole way because I did draw it in four bars. I just only had one selected. So you can kind of see it shows that same little picture in there. And then we can actually tie the control of this master volume to the automation track. And to do that, we hold the control key on the keyboard. So I'll press down my control key right now and then left click on the, uh, like the volume control and drag it over to the automation track and then take off my mouse clicker and now it says master volume and now if we play look our volumes down then it's gonna go off again I'm not clicking it it's just automatically going up by itself so it's doing whatever whatever this track is telling it to do so it's saying at this point of the song be zero and then at this point of the song be uh, 0.98 percent and at this point of the song be 51 so it's just doing whatever we told it to do now we can clean this up a little bit too. I'm going to clear it out real quick. We'll go right click and just go to clear. And we can actually make it more smooth by clicking this icon. And then we can just click at two different points and it'll create a nice straight thing. This will be a nice regular increase in volume. So now if we hit play, it steadily goes up in volume. Uh, and we can also, there's one more option, which we can do this one, which kind of makes it rounded. And then we can add in some different points and we can kind of make it more if we want to do slow and then a quick rise, but it kind of smooths it out and makes it a lot more gradual and smooth. So these are different options. Probably the square. For volume, you probably wouldn't do square, but uh, you probably want to use one of these two. And then it's not just volume that we can apply it to. So I'm going to right click here and let's go, uh, let's just clear it out. Let's right click and go all the way to the bottom. It says one connections and we go to disconnect. So now it's no longer tied to our master volume, so our volume will stay the same. We can add an effect. So if we click on add effect, we can add like a low pass filter. We'll use this Glam low pass filter. And this provides sort of like a, an effect on our audio, like a wah effect if we actually move it. So maybe we want it to fade in and do this. So if we do that, before we actually, if I get in here and, and do some edits and then we dr bring it over, so hit the control key and just dra drag this dial over, it'll erase everything I did in there, or at least it lowers it all out to, to nothing, like they're all down here. And so I'm just gonna right click, I'm gonna go clear, and we'll just start from scratch. So it's still tied here, and then I can just come in and say, look, I want it to be, um, let's have it be kind of linear. Let's start at this point and let's go quickly up like this and let's drop back down very quickly and then we'll slowly build up again over here. So it's going to create this sort of effect and this should sound pretty cool with this low pass filter. Mm -hmm. 
Maybe here we don't want we don't want it all the way down there. We'll put it like to there maybe. And we see our dials are just connected and doing that according to this. And if we turn off this, oh, if we turn it off, oh, I mean, I sold it. If we turn it, if we listen to these by themselves, they're not going to be doing this effect because it's only the uh, automation track that's controlling this. Yeah, hopefully that uh, kind of makes sense to you. Play around with the automation track. You can have multiple, and we can have different automations apply to different parts of the song. Also, if you right-click on our uh, master volume, we can actually apply, we can go Edit Global Song Automation, and it brings up this master global automation for just the audio of the entire song. So we could do that uh, as well. And that's one way that we could accomplish maybe doing volume increase and that, that will be separate from the, the, an automation track, if that makes sense. So I just want to show that that's an option too. So now we should have both these things happening. Our volume's coming up, and our automation track is happening independently of the volume. Yeah, I hope you found this video informative. Just a quick one uh, talking about those, uh, those automation tracks. Go ahead and play with them. Um, open up some of these different songs in uh, under My Presets Demos. You'll see sometimes that uh, they'll be using like a lot of different automation tracks, like this one here. It's actually a pretty good example. It has all different kinds of automation tracks, and you can kind of get an idea for what you can do with it, not just like volume, but like applying it to different effects gets pretty cool. So you have all these different options, and you can click and look and see exactly what they're doing with these if you're curious. So pretty cool stuff. Anyway, that's the video for today. Thanks for watching. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next video.